Hello, hello, Productivity Boosters. It is Jo Bendel here. Um, as promised, we have a live Q&A for you today. Um, and this is really about the, the series that I've just launched, this free online workshop that's available for you um, called Widely Successful Entrepreneur. So this is all about... Hello, Judy. Thanks for, thanks for joining us. Um, so yeah, this is, um, this is all about keeping you on track to achieving your goals. Like guys, we're already at May. Um, you know, this is, it's now time to, to really take a look at what is and isn't working and make sure that, um, you know, you're setting yourself up for success this year. Okay. Hi, Helen. Hi, Mariana. Hi, thanks for coming. Um, so just, just a quick introduction about what we're doing today or why we're doing this. I've got the, um, the live workshop that's available at the moment. If you check the pin post in the Productivity Boosters group, you'll see all the information. Um, and why am I doing this? Because, like I said, it is May already. We're nearly halfway through this year, and I am ridiculously passionate about making sure that you're focusing on the right things and starting to get closer to achieving those goals. Now, the one thing I do know for sure is that... Um, Implementation and self-mastery are the absolute game changers. They are the things that are going to make all the difference to, you know, um, to our future success. And this is why I want to bring to your attention. So, like, really having a proven system. We talked about it before. Um, the first, the first part of the work online workshop was about having a proven system. It doesn't have to be complex. Um, or having a system to help you get stuff done. And now I've got a proven system. We're going to talk about it. We can talk about it today. We've um, really looked at that in that first video. And it's getting thousands of women get the, you know, having results. And so I want to make sure that you're aware of what you're doing on a daily basis. Now, you may be new to me or you may have um, joined plenty of my challenges and seen a lot of the stuff that I do. You may even just have my challenge sat in your inbox and not actually actioned. And that's totally fine. But now this is about, I'm around, use me. What do we need to do to get you to where you need to be? Um, it is time, okay? So it's all about self-mastery and that's what we're talking about today. No more burnout. Let's work strategically, get you focusing on the right things. And as I say, implementation on the right things, focusing on the right things are the things that are going to make a big difference. So I'm on a mission this month to really make sure you realise the power of this stuff. And uh, this is really exciting. There's loads of hearts floating by. Thanks, ladies. Um, and so I want a mission to make you realise how simple it is that on a daily and weekly basis for for you to you know to really know what you're doing. Um, and it and it's simple. We don't need to have complex challenges. Hello, Cat Marshall. <laughs> um, so. As I say, part of the workshop that I've been sharing is all about self-mastery. Um, and I also shared about the four stages that are really required to have a... Um, to implement your own productivity system, which allows you to stay super, super focused on a daily and weekly basis, which means that you always get to the end of the month having achieved your goals and the end of the year. So, you know, 2017 is like flying past. And uh, hi, Rosie! <laughs> This is so, so much fun. Now, the thing that we are doing today is a live Q&A. So, as I say, there's the live, there is the online workshop that you can work through. And um, thanks for joining us. Hi, Karen. Um, and, but today's about Q&A. So, the, you know, I've got a couple of questions that I will answer that I've seen in the events. So, thank you, ladies. And... We're going to talk about whatever you need to know, but before we go to Q&A, um, we're going to try something exciting and new, um, and I'm going to try and bring somebody on to have a chat. So I want to invite you to, um, let's just uh, focus on what I'm doing. So I want to, I really want to just bring to your attention Helen. So she's um, one of the ladies in Wildly Successful Society, and she has a really great story. Um, and so what I want to do before we go to Q&A is just have a really quick kind of like, where was she, where is she, where, where is she now, and what is the one sort of thing that she wants to, that she can say has been the game changer for her, so that we can make you realise it's possible for you too. So hi Helen, how are you? Hello, are you? I am great, thank you. Can you hear me okay? Like, yeah, perfect. It works. Fantastic. Yay! So, it's <laughs> 
Facebook Live, and it's ridiculously exciting. <laughs> so, Yay! okay. So, Helen, tell us, um, just tell us a little bit about who you, um, who you have, what you do, because you've got, um, you know, a wonderful business. Thank you. Uh, so, I help people to communicate with clarity and confidence, and the people I'm helping are mostly, uh, I'm in Japan, I'm in Tokyo, so it's mostly people working in global businesses in Japan. And I've been doing that, I've been in corporate Japan for t over 20 years, and then running my own business for four years, and the last couple of years starting the online side of work, so now expanding to help more people, and helping people like uh, like you actually <laughs> like, yeah, like absolutely. Uh, the women in the, the the women in the group and by the um like online courses i've just created an online presentation skills course that's gone out for entrepreneurs as well and uh, excited that just before this i got one of those little paypal notifications saying someone just bought <laughs> <laughs> love it brilliant and that's what it's about this is amazing and i love yeah. i love watching your love getting to know you and love watching your journey and like helen and i met really through a um a freedom um program that we were, we were both trying to create a business that allowed us complete freedom um and mm -hmm. um oh excellent emma thanks she's made it back from the supermarket so she can watch us excellent excellent um, so i love it so this is so let's have a quick chat i mean around um so what do you, what made you join wildly successful society and really what was your biggest frustration at the time because i think a lot of people are going to really relate to that okay so why i joined was as i said as you said we, we know each other from the um the freedom plan group and we actually we met i mean we only actually met once in person we right met in bali, yeah. by a pool in bali how yes. glamorous is that <laughs> um and so i so i knew about uh, you joe from that and um i knew what you did and it was in october last year when you were running the really productive month group that i i decided to join that and why i decided to join is i've done a lot of courses and uh, took a lot of coaching and it's always been an issue for me as being an overachiever and so I'm, I'm not the sort of pro person who has problems getting things done it's I get too many things done and then I get burnout and I've had some serious burnout a number of times even being taken to hospital in an ambulance from work and just like oh yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. So um, I really wanted something that was going to help me to address this overachieving, doing way too much um, issue. Yeah. And I, I really like the idea of the um, daily accountability. So I joined RPM and then the Really Productive Month and then that changed um, to the Wildly Successful Society, oh, yeah. <laughs> which uh, <laughs> I am absolutely loving. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. So, um, and I, I mean, this is the thing. So, so many people can relate to the, the uh, either burning out or the fear or getting close to burning out. Um, yeah. And I remember when I first met her and she was telling me, she just introduced herself as like, I'm an overachiever and I really need help. <laughs> like, so <laughs> many people, <laughs> we can all, everybody, I imagine everybody listening, is anyone else yeah. that they're an overachiever? Because, you know, it's almost like a productivity block that gets in our way and, um and it's, it's important that we kind of like realize, you know, as I talk about that self-awareness is so, is so important. So, okay. So tell me, you know, what's really changed since you, Karen's like me, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a safe place to be, it's a safe place to confess. Okay. Um, so yeah. what's really kind of changed? What's changed for you? I mean, I, I remember um, um, even, even quite near the start, one of the things you had, we had a challenge going for you that you had to stop work by seven, was it? And um, yeah, I think the first one was stopping work by eight, and then <laughs> and then it was stopping work by seven. <laughs> and I, I think the um, and the, the thing was, I just remember was that you'd said, you know, you had a better relationship. You were being a better parent. You had a better relationship with your daughter yeah. because of some of the tools. And so, but yeah, so what's really changed for you? Yeah, well, I think that's a, a, a massive difference. Is that like when I was getting um, stressed and overwhelmed. It was not only affecting me and my health, um, but also affecting people around me, uh, including family, including, um, I mean, this, this has been going on for so long and it affected people in the workplace when I was working with a, you know, with a team as well. So it's just, it's such a serious issue to, to get, um, to resolve. And yeah. the biggest changes are that what I'm doing now is, 
putting myself and family first. So, um, for example, mm. I actually had one, one big realization with, you know, we talk about the, um, the MIAs. And I guess everybody in this group knows about the MIAs, right? The, the most important. So action. MIA yeah. is just a reminder of our most important actions. And we have a big focus yeah. on those. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so I thought, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. And yes, um, I can post my MIAs in the group every morning and I will achieve them. Yes, I yes. shall because I'm an achiever. And <laughs> I did. And, but then I, I thought, but something's something's not quite right something because I'm still feeling like frustrated I'm not getting to some of the things that I want to do and then I had this realization that the MIAs that I was setting myself and achieving every day were for other people they were like what, what do I need to do for my client what do I need to do for this person and then the things that were important for me I was leaving till the end of the day and then I was just exhausted by them and not getting around to doing them so it, for the last couple of weeks um, especially my number one MIA every day has been declutter, which is totally something. Do, do 25 minutes, one POM of decluttering. And that is something that is, for me, it helps me to feel that I'm in a good space. It, it helps me to have more energy. It's good for the family as well. Yes. And that's, a, that's the sort of thing that in the past I would have said, oh, yeah, I need to declutter. But I would have left it until the end of the day and then not got around to it. So yeah. um, it, it, it's really interesting because even now, like even this morning, I, uh, when, I, when I got up and I was thinking about the first thing to do, I thought, oh, yeah, I've got my decluttering. Oh, but I do have this client thing tomorrow that I really – I haven't finished the work for. Oh, maybe I should do the client thing. I'm like, no, 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 do the decluttering first. And it felt great to get that out of the way. And this is just – there's so many things oh, – I, I say I'm going to keep these short, keep these short, but there's so many things I want to talk about. It's like – First of all, yes, it's food, it impacts every area of your life. It really has that ripple effect. And that's, mm. that's, what, that's what's just, you know, absolutely amazing and people don't realize. Um, but then also, like, that, that awareness that you're getting. Like, we are all intelligent women, right? So we, mm -hmm. can, we look at this and go, well, I should be able to do this. I should be able to do this on my own. Um, but actually, that when we start, you know, when we start doing it with a support, supported group, you get that awareness of, where you might be tripping yourself up. I mean, a classic one is like always making sure that we put our priority tasks first before we do everything else. But also breaking those MIAs down. They're not mini oh, projects. Yeah. They're small yeah. tasks. And yeah. that's where we all start. I've got eight mini projects on my, on my to-do list. I wonder why I'm not achieving. And it's like, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so what's the biggest yeah. win? What do you think your biggest win's been? Well, I think, I think that, um, that, that what I just spoke about has, has been really huge yeah. for me. And it's been, um, it's, I think I've really changed my, uh, the way that I talk to myself. Instead of it being, I have so much to do, I have so much to do, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. It's, I have time to do what's important for me. Oh, um, that right? That, it's, and, like, and so that's that, the thing. And like, you know, like I always try and say to everybody, this isn't a complex, these are not complex strategies. It's just simple tweaks that will have a huge impact. Emma, um, you know, I know we had a chat and you, you said the same. It's like, actually, it was just very small little tweak here to my, to my weekly schedule has gone, oh, yeah. Um, and, and, and I think that's the thing we need to realize, that it's just a few tweaks here and there that can have a huge, huge mm -hmm. impact. Um, so, okay, well, thank you. Is there, um, is there anything else that you wanted to share before we um, say goodbye? Well, I tell you, I mean, I, my understanding is there's what, 4,000 plus, oh, is it, is it 5,000 people now in, 5, the, in the group? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so I just say, ladies, stop messing about. <laughs> <laughs> really get into the wildly successful society. I, I, as I said at the beginning, I have, I'm, I'm basically a self-development addict as well. And so yeah. I've gone through so many different courses. I've took so much coaching and it, this is seriously the best return on investment by far. So I absolutely love the wildly success. And I'm not being paid to do this, by the way. I must <laughs> say this. This is, this is me. It's coming from the heart. Um, it is really the best. And so anybody who's thinking, oh, I'm not sure, oh, just do it. It is the best. Thank you, thank you. That is amazing. <laughs> and I'm so grateful because I, you know, like obviously we all talk about we're building our business on self-doubt and, you know, all the things that come with it. And we really do talk a lot about mindset because that is, you know, a big thing. But I'm really grateful because we get, you know, the strategies are proven. It's making a difference to people's lives. And I'm, 
Um, I'm, I, I just want more people to realize that this is simple, right? We can, we can actually achieve our goals in a really simple way that doesn't mean working 24-7, um, reaching burnout, you know. Um, right, well, I'm going to let you go because I know you're busy. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to us live from Japan. How cool. And um, what I will say is please do pop a link um, to uh, anything that you think will be useful in this, in this post, uh, in this thread, because anybody that's sort of heard about you and thought, oh, communication, I could do with help with that. I'm, I know that I'll be hitting Helen up because I'm speaking at a conference later this year in Australia. So, um it will be time. So please do do that. And uh, thanks for joining. Okay, ladies, thank you. I hope that's useful. Um, I really just want you to kind of realize that, you know, this is possible for you. Um, we're all, um, you know, we're all here to do, um, you know, we've all got our own journeys. Now, um, just going to invite one more lady Sharon, I want you to introduce you to Sharon. She's, you know, very different business, but just to prove to you that no matter what your personality or your business, um, there is a, uh, you know, the tools can work for you. So we'll have a quick chat to Sharon, hopefully, if she can come live. And then we're going to go to q and I'm going to answer any questions you've got. I know there's questions in the group I'll go through. Um, and obviously, anything else, just pop, pop the questions in the, um, in the comments. So, hello, Sharon. Let's see if we can hear you. Can you hear me Okay. Perfect, perfect. So I would just love um, to introduce you and say, you know, Sharon is a wonderful um, kinesiologist. Um, I probably best if you explain, like, how do you help women in business? Uh, tell us a little bit about you. Well, I work with not just working with mindset, but I actually trace it right back to where your beliefs and your fears started in childhood and change it at that place. So I'm not working... I work where we are here at present, but I actually go back to the root cause of where all these things came from and we transform it there. And what we do is we actually make new neuro pathways in the brain so you're not trapped in the old way of thinking. Amazing. It's super powerful, right? So, so powerful. And like we do know, I think we all know by now that it's 80% mindset, this entrepreneurial journey. Um, so tell us, why did you join Wildly Successful Society? And, you know, really, what was your biggest frustration at the time so that we can sort of, you know, people can relate to where you were? Well, I start I, back in April last year. So it's actually just over a year. I realized that there were five new kinesiologists had just graduated and moved into my area. So my pond got really, really small. And I figured that the only way to keep myself going was to do the big leap and go into the big ocean, and the ocean for me is online. So I started dabbling and joining different groups, but it was really, really unstructured, and my to-do to list just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So by the time it got to about October, November, I... I wasn't doing anything. I was just being busy all the time. So I stopped and really looked at where I was. And that's where I saw we had a monthly, you used to run on a, at the beginning of the month, and you still do it, a monthly planning. And I thought that's maybe great. that's what I need. Failed it completely. I did such a wonderful job at failing. I was so proud of myself because yeah, what it did was it <laughs> yes, I see failures as awesome because it shows you yeah. where your next place expansion is. Me so, too. yeah. Completely failed November completely, December started, and I was doing a really, really good job of sabotaging that as well. When the Wildly Successful Society came up as a special, and it was like, not only did I get that, I got you for an hour as well. I mean, why would you not go with it? So, yeah. <laughs> so I did. Yeah. It's really changed the way that things work for me. Mm, thank you. So, um, so what's, where are you now then? So like before you were really struggling to make any progress at all. And what, what's, what's your reality now? Very, very different. What I found was that my goals were so general and so big that it left me really scattered. I was trying to do too much on big things rather than focusing on what I actually needed to do. And because the Wildly Successful also has the backup, I've learned how to use Asana now, there's other modules as well in the Wildly Successful Society. I've been able to work through those and it's really focused me. So rather than coming in and just being like, I'm a kinesiologist who does everything, I've been able to bring myself down and my online presence has really increased. I went to a networking uh, at lunchtime and it was like people knew who I was and knew what I did. And that wasn't the case six months ago. So that's really I changed for me. 
Yeah, and it's been absolutely amazing to watch you since January. Like, literally, own your, um, you know, and it's about focus. So anybody that's thinking, yeah, well, you know, it's, it's literally about focus. Like, if you're focusing on the right thing and you're implementing and you're taking action, that will change absolutely everything. But if you're merely working really hard on the wrong things, then you're going to stay on that hamster wheel. So focus, that focused action. And that's why we do the monthly planning, to make sure that, like, are we focusing on the right things at this, at this time? And, you know, like, you know, this is, it's, it's so, it's so obvious, but unless you have your process for it and like, you know, so yeah, I mean, it's been amazing to watch you now, super focused. You've got your message bang on and, and, you know, you're skyrocketing out there, which is so, so cool. So is there anything specifically, like, is there a spe one specific tool that you want to say, look, you know, guys, try this. It's made a big impact. Apart from the fact that one of the areas that I really got focused was in the society, we ha we've got a pom we've got a pom limp, and I jump on, and there's usually somebody around, and we get to pom together. We get to do this intensive working, and because we're all there with the same objective of getting something done, it, yeah, uh, the poms have been great. The poms have been really good. Like jumping on and four lots of sessions over two hours. I can clear all of my week's correspondence in that time. I can do all of my Facebook <laughs> posts in one pom. It's awesome. I love it. I was spending two and a half hours a day on Facebook. I can do the whole thing in half an hour. I love it. And it's just so amazing what gets done in those Pomodoro sessions. So like if you're not familiar with the Pomodoro session, check it out. It's um, something that we use a lot in the live co-working room because like so much gets achieved. People will come out of that session going, I've been wanting to do that for a year, you know, and it's just like, oh God, it's so cool. Um, Sharon, I'm so, so, um, so grateful for you for sharing your, um, your story with us and um, wishing you so much wild success. And um, is there anything else that you wanted to share with anyone before we, um, before you go? Well, one of the things is, I mean, I'm going to get, do a little bit of self-promo here, Joe, because that's what we do. And I'm going to say there is this five-day challenge coming up starting on the 15th of May. I'll put the link in. And one of the, one of the things that motivated this five-day challenge was actually doing the work that Joe has set for us. Because in doing that work, I've actually been able to focus, work out what I'm about, and then bring really hone down and get things done and actually beat my own sabotages. So some of the things that we're doing in the five-day challenge are things that Joe's actually taught us. So if you want a fast track, you could do that. But that's just my promo and that will do. <laughs> so post a link to it in this, in this thread so people can find you. And um, thank you, thank you. Um, obviously see you over in, the, in, the, in, the, in our group and um, grateful for you for sharing your journey. So thank you. Um, Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go to Q&A. So if anybody, I'm just going to check there's no questions. Um, if you've got any questions, just pop them in the chat box now. Happy to answer absolutely anything. This is about, um, you can ask me anything, you know, uh, no, nothing's off limits. Obviously, I'm running a business whilst traveling the world. So you might want to know something about how do I do it. It comes with its challenges. Um, I'm just going to go to the event because I know there were some questions in there. Um Excellent. Okay, right. So first of all, um, oh, where's my events? Oh, no, the events tab now has disappeared because it's live. Right, I've got to find it. Okay, um, let me just quickly find the events tab because I know that there was a, um, <laughs> this is annoying, isn't it? Uh, there were some questions in there. Right, okay, so before I, whilst I try and find that, I've got it. Emma, Joe, I might need a more extensive project management CRM to plan all my design client work from start to delivery and my uh, assistant Holly to take admin stuff off my hands in one place where I can store PDFs, videos and how-to documents. What, which do you recommend? Um, well, I don't know if you had a chance to check out the Asana training whilst you're in the Wildly Successful Society. Um, we be I, I basically think you can run your whole business and your life using Asana. Now, it might be slightly different to just like the traditional way of managing your own tasks. Um, and in, in actual fact, in April, we had our theme for the month was about processes and procedures and how you can do that in Asana. So you can, um, I'm happy to show you, um, but basically you can set up projects and tasks. And I have, um, 
I use everything in Asana. So you can link to documents, um, you can attach documents, you can attach your PDFs, you can have your whole um, sort of business Bible, you know, your SOPs, all done in one place so that you can have everything there. And it might all link to a Google Drive or a Dropbox folder, uh, but it's definitely manageable. Asana is super, is super intuitive for many different ways of using it. Now, um, so you want to just, it's, it's absolutely fine for project managing of your client work from start to delivery, definitely. I and mean, we definitely looked at that in how to use that in um, April. Um, obviously fine to use with Holly and definitely fine to have everything in one place. So explore Asana if you want to, um, you know, have a chat about how I would recommend use it and obviously let me know. Um, but yeah, I would definitely think you can do what you need to do in your business using Asana. Can you email from Asana and keep track of email conversations? So you can email to Asana. So you can have an email come through and email it to Asana and it will come up in your projects. Um, you can have this conversations in Asana. So the idea of Asana is that you take everything out of email. Um, and so there are conversations. You can There's a conversations tab in there. So you can chat to uh, maybe Holly or your client back and forth um, that... Um, yeah, you can, you can chat to each other. Any, I use it with my team. So for each project or task, we'll, we'll chat to each other about it. We can send versions of documents, um, links to anything. So it's all in this one place. But everything comes out of email. But if a client emailed you a, a, a contract that was signed and you wanted to forward it to Asana so it was in the right place, you could definitely do that as well. Um, oh, thanks, Helen. I have found it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so let's have a look. So she said, Judy, hi, I would like to know how to plan when there are things that may happen, but you don't know when. And how to align, allow time to be flexible, but still carry on. It's such a great question, Judy. Thank you. Um, okay. So you know what? I, I really, yes, investigate, Emma, please do. So for me, I think this is about you, first of all, coming back and connecting to what's your deepest desire? What do you want to happen in the next... Let's pull it back down. If you've got a lot of things that are changing, then maybe pull it into a three months. So in the next three months, in the next 90 days, what do you want to rock up to the end of that time having achieved? What would be your absolute, you know, um, ideal situation? Forgetting about the how and forgetting that it's, you know, relying on other people at the moment, okay? So get really clear about what you want it to look like. Um, and then you can start. So then you, then obviously then you basically start your, um, your monthly and your weekly planning around, you know, your ideal situation. Now, as an entrepreneur, we are always course correcting because with action comes clarity. And also, obviously, I know for sure you've got an external thing that's going to impact your um, situation. So, and I don't know enough about it, but um, so you've got to just basically get clear on what you want and what you, what, what you would love and then um, start making your plans. But just like, on a weekly and a monthly basis, set your plans. And if you have to course correct in between, then that's absolutely fine. But the, the point is that you are almost manifesting the, the journey that you want to go on because you've got clear and said, but well, this is my ideal. This is the ideal path I'd like. And that the universe doesn't want us to have a, um, you know, to know the hows. It's just it wants us, would love us to know the outcome and to be flexible about how we get there. So hopefully it helps for you to just take back control, take back your power, and say, well, I can still plan, and I'm com comfortable course correcting as um, as different opportunities and or as different situations arise. So take back control. Don't sit in the in the story of you know I can't really plan because it's uncertain. Right, what do I want to happen? I'm going to set my plan. If I need to course correct, I will. I'm in control. I'm comfortable not knowing how, but I want to know the outcome. So you've got this. You know, you know, you can do this. And and I often talk about. Um, well, actually, it's been on my own journey um, with other entrepreneur friends that will sometimes that I will connect with and then they'll say to me, I'll say something and they'll be like, well, get a new story. So I do share that with my clients and everyone has actually written a blog post about it. It's like sometimes we're telling ourselves a story and um, it's not necessarily a really empowering one or one that makes it really easy to take action. So sometimes we just need to get a new story. It's okay that I don't know what's coming up in the next few months. It's okay that I need to be flexible. But I can still set my goals and course correct, and that's okay. You know, like really, really choosing how to look at any situation does change things. So keep taking action, Judy. Don't, don't sit on the sidelines waiting. Keep taking the action. 
Um, hopefully that's helped. And there was another question. Sharon, I'd like to know, how do you get yourself focused after being away from work for a while? I find that I've been away for the week or for the weekend or I've had something big on. I can work, but it's not very efficient. Like my mind is still on the fun I've just had. So it's not a factor that I don't want to work. It's more that it takes me a while to settle. Um, yeah, and I think that's just the, the, the nature of our... Um, anybody that's in this kind of online or well, entrepreneurial journey is that yeah we're uh, we're easily excited <laughs> it's not always easy to stay focused um i think that my advice really would be to make sure that you've got your plan so like before you go before it starts so if say like it was a weekend away make sure you do your weekly review on a friday so that when you come back to work you're super clear you know maybe you just give yourself one mia for that monday but it's a really fun one so it's something that feels really exciting. It's not, I'm going to post on my social media post. Something that feels really nice and exciting to get your teeth into. Um, easily excited, yeah. That's definitely me, as you can tell. <laughs> um, oh, two people on a Facebook Live. This is exciting. <laughs> um, so, like, really, um, like, just make sure you're planned. Like, I will tell you now that there is nothing more powerful than being than knowing for sure what I need to do when I sit down to work. Yeah, keep up the fun. Um, now, I don't know if um, Kat Marshall is still on here. Um, yeah, it looks like she is. Um, so, oh my gosh, it was like two years ago, I think, Kat and I were having a planning session about some uh, our businesses, and we came up with a saying, structure the fun. And so I still, still laugh about it. Yes, we do need to structure the fun. Off, totally off topic, but yeah, we do need to structure fun in our lives as well as our business. Um, but, um, so, so Sharon, I really feel that if I sit down to work after I had something that was, you know, completely, you know, taking my head into a completely different space, like, if I haven't got it, it's not, this is why I love my MIAs, because if it's not really clear what I need to do as soon as I sit down, <laughs> yeah, Kat says, yep, straight to the fun. Um, if it's not really clear what I need to do when I sit down, then what happens is I will procrastinate, um, I'll spend time on Facebook, you know, it's not something that I really struggle with now because I'm, I'm, but if I don't have a plan, if I don't have it really clear, this is the one thing you need to nail today, um, then I will struggle to get in the zone. But if it's just there, and if you don't give yourself that space, like your mind, if you sit down and start working straight away, it will be fine. If you give it for even five minutes of, hmm, what should I do now? Boom. It will attack. It will go into attack. Inner critic will be like, oh, let's do this, let's do that. No, I don't want to do this. And, you know, so we just don't give it a chance to, to keep, you know, to derail us and be like, right, super focused. It comes back to that focus. But always plan a fun thing. Plan a fun thing for that first day. Um, and maybe, but, but I think the biggest thing is just having the plan ready. Don't come back and say, well, I've got to decide what my weekly goals are. Have it all really clear and set. Uh, are there any other questions? Anyone got any other questions? Um, okay, well, I'm conscious I don't really want to keep everybody too long because obviously that goes against what I believe. Um, but just as a reminder that there is an online workshop at the moment. As you all know, that I do practice imperfect action with my business. So the, and I don't have a, a backdrop and a video screen, etc. So it's imperfect, but it, um, it's really just telling you about self-mastery and why we really now need to nail this. Um, and that, <laughs> um, that, and that, um, that really a productivity system doesn't have to be complicated, doesn't have to be uh, time consuming to implement, but that there are the first video talks about, you know, there's four kind of stages of that. Um, and then the next one gets released today. So keep an eye out. Oh, it'll be released in the next half an hour to emails, uh, to inbox. And that's about the monthly planning. So we're going to go through setting a goal and breaking it down so that in the next four weeks, you know for sure what you need to achieve. Um, and like we were talking with Sharon, that's really made a big, big difference. Loving the chat too. Well, cooking and drinking my wine. It's wine o'clock in Australia. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I forgot about that. Do you know what? So many times. This is so international, this group, which is wonderful. But like for me, it's like, it's, you know, it's, it's morning. So I'm drinking water. But what I meant to do is put my water into a wine glass because quite often I'm on live calls with Australia at this time of day and they're always like, cheers with a glass of wine. So I was like, I was going to have my wine glass of water. But yeah, cheers, ladies. Uh, enjoy your wine. Um, thanks ever so much for joining me. Um, that was it really um, imperfectly giving it a go with the two-person um, chat. I think, I hope it's useful to find out sort of 
what's working for other people. Um, and I really just want to say, look, I've spoken to so many people recently that are, um, you know, we're not nailing it. You know, things aren't, don't feel in flow. You're not necessarily working on the right things. There's frustration at the end of the month not reaching goals. We're almost at the halfway through the month. This is my, I really feel passionate now about just saying, look, guys, there's only one thing that's going to change everything. You already know everything you need to know for where you are right now. So step back and just implement, okay? This is about taking action, implementing, focusing on the right things. That's what's going to make a change. And that's what's going to change, you know, the, your, your future success. Now, I always, I think I share um, more, than, more often than necessary, but there's a quote that I have to remind you of. People do not decide their futures. They decide their habits, and their habits decide their futures. Now, that is super powerful. If your habits are what create your future, are you 100% happy with the habits that you have at the moment? So on a daily basis, how you go about your day, is that setting you up for the success that you want? Like, really ask yourself that. And if not, we need to look at your habits because they are the change, the game changer. Um, so I just wanted to really, really sort of emphasize that, that, you know, it's our habits that will, um, will make the difference. And, and I don't know if anybody wants to put this, but this is such a powerful question. And I'd love you to put, put something in the comments here about, like, if I say, what's it costing you? Now, I remember being asked this question probably probably three years ago, like, what's it costing me by, and at the time, I was getting in my own way with my mindset, playing it small, um, and it's like, what's it costing you on an annual basis by not being, um, you know, your most productive self, by not nailing this sales mastery, by not, you know, working in the way that you know will get your business to the next level, like, for me, for sure, six figures, right, I mean, like, it's different, difficult currency-wise, because obviously, depending on what your currency is, a, a number is very, very different. But like, just even ask yourself internally, write it in your journal, how much am I losing on an annual basis by not making self-mastery a priority? Because it is a lot of money. Um, and if you're already at the stage where you're earning the money, but you're feeling like the life isn't there because you're working all the time, you know, this is about life and business, okay? Um, but yeah, obviously I could waffle for ages. But I just want to say... Thank you so much again for coming. I absolutely love and appreciate you all. And I'm excited that we're all on this journey together. Um, here's to all of our wild success. Let's do it together. Yeah, it's the how family friends too. Yeah, for sure. I agree. And it, it really is. And that's obviously why we're all sort of um, attracted to one another. Because it is about, it isn't about striving. It's about having a good quality life and a thriving business and enjoying that. Um, and looking after ourselves, which is a really big thing. Um, so actually this month, my um, goal, so I always pick a word for the month, and my word for this month is buzz. Thank you, Helen, for providing me with that one, which means I really want to create a buzz around this productivity and this self-mastery, and I also want to be buzzing with energy by the end of the month, which means um, I'm, I'm taking part in Karen, who's on this called her 30-day clean living challenge, which is going to ensure that I am buzzing with energy by the end of it. So um, we're in week one, which is um, <laughs> elimination of all the food. So yeah, I've had a headache this week. <laughs> um, my life, my sanity, my future. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's super, super powerful, right? When we really start to take back control and say, okay, I am ready. Um, so keep an eye out. I'm going to do some more Facebook Lives. I'm being a healthy little Kiwi. Yes, Judy, I love it. <laughs> um, I'm going to do some more Facebook Lives next week, and I'm going to uh, introduce you to a couple more women, just so that you can see that wherever you are in business, whatever your business, wherever your industry, uh, whether you're a mum, whether you're not, whether you travel, you know, like, there's, there's, the tools will be, you know, we're making a system for you. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is so cool. Right, I'm going to love and leave you. Have an amazing evening, weekend, day, wherever you are in the world. Thanks again for joining me. Please do let me know if you've got any questions. Um, and, yeah, as I say, we'll be live next week. I'm going to do a couple more live things. I'm going to do a live webinar in this group as well, which is going to give you a bit more stuff about habits. And, um, yeah, I will see you there. So this is your time to get anything from me. Over the next week, I'm available to ask anything. And then... I'm focusing on the ones that are ready, okay? So, big love, my friends. Thanks again, and um, over and out. Thank you. Bye.